What's going on? It's Jesse, and in today's video, I'm going to show you an arm workout you can do at home in about 15 or 20 minutes if you do it right, and all you need is a set of resistance bands. Now, one thing I've seen a lot of other YouTube channels doing is giving you a 15 or 20 minute workout and putting a timer on the screen so you're working out in real time with them, almost like a fitness class. And I don't love that approach because this is not a fitness class. This is a workout that you can do at home with the proper amount of reps, proper amount of sets. So I'm not gonna push you into training faster or slower than you want to or should be training. And I'm gonna give you the exact exercises, the amount of sets and reps I want you to aim for. And I'm gonna walk you through each exercise. And that way you can go at your own pace. You can really focus on each and every rep and each set, make sure that you're feeling it in the proper areas and the proper muscle groups. And you can go back and rewatch the form and not feel like you're getting left behind. So let's get right into it. So the first exercise you're gonna start with are resistance band curls, but they're gonna be negative curls, meaning you're gonna go with a much slower tempo on the way down with the resistance bands. So you're really squeezing the bicep at the top of the curl, and then slowly with two or three or four seconds, bringing the resistance bands back down to the starting position. And you can do this by anchoring the resistance band onto a sturdy table or the bike like I have here or you can just step on the resistance bands with your feet, which I actually think I prefer doing it that way. And you know, you do the curl that way. For this, you're gonna do four sets of 12 to 15 reps. And the point is really to focus on the bicep and squeeze the bicep and contract it as hard as you can with each and every rep, which is very important to do with resistance bands because you don't have you know, the luxury of just adding more weight to make it harder. The second exercise is gonna be a tricep exercise and you're gonna do a kneeling tricep extension. It's almost like you're at the gym on the cable machine and you've got the rope on the cable and you're doing like a press down. Uh, you're recreating that movement. So basically you wanna anchor the resistance band on a door or somewhere high up or, or even just at like head level. And then you wanna kneel down, get on your knees and with a neutral grip, so you don't even need the handles for this one, is you wanna pull down, almost like into your pockets, and apart at the bottom of the movement. And we're doing four sets of this one as well for 15 reps each. And similarly, you really wanna focus on squeezing the tricep when your arms are fully extended. Squeeze and focus on the tricep, and then slowly and gradually return to the starting position. So the third exercise we're doing is a hammer curl. So for this one, you're gonna use a neutral grip, your palms are gonna be facing each other, and you're gonna be holding the actual band itself, not the handles. So you can take those off, or if your handles are permanently on the band, you can just hold the actual band itself, and you can anchor you know, the band to a sturdy table or the bike like I've got here, and pull straight up that way, or you can do what you did before and step on the resistance band themselves and just pull up for the hammer curl that way. And for this one, we're doing three sets of 15 reps. So the final and fourth exercise we're gonna do for this arm workout are tricep kickbacks, which you may have done with dumbbells before. So what we're gonna do for this one, you have two options. You can anchor the resistance band somewhere around eye level and then kind of bend over, keep your back nice and flat, get your elbows you know, up above your back and perform your kickbacks that way, both arms at the same time. Another alternative, which I think I may actually prefer, is to just step on the resistance band like we did before, bend over, get our elbows up, and perform the extension and, and the kickback that way. Um, and again, with this exercise, it's the same as with all the other ones where we really want to mentally focus on squeezing the tricep when we're extending, um, using a slow and controlled tempo, trying to keep the tension on the muscle at all times. And for this one, we're also doing three sets of 15 reps. So there we have it, guys. That is our at-home 15-minute arm workout. We've got two exercises for the biceps, two for the triceps. That should be good, right? If you're making each and every rep and set count, you're using that mind-muscle connection to really squeeze the muscle every single time. This should be very challenging, and you should not have to do three, four, five, six exercises for each muscle group. Let me know down in the comments if you give this workout a try and how you like it. And also, if you've got any ideas or requests for other home workouts that I can do and share with you here on my channel. And if you're new here, go ahead and click the subscribe button and get notified when I make new videos just like this every single week. All right, 
Hope you have a great day and I'll see you on the next video.